Hey there, this is Ed Roth from Stencil One. Today I'm going to show you how to use our Stencil One stencils. I have a lot of tips and tricks to show you, so let's not delay and let's get right into it. So I'm going to show you how to paint this octopus stencil. I chose this stencil because I like octopuses, but also it has so much nice detail that I have designed into the stencil. So I want to show you how to show all this fine detail and get the best results. So I've pre-painted this piece of wood, uh, stained it green with some acrylic paint and watered that down, let it dry thoroughly. Um, now I'm going to place my stencil where I would like my design to appear, where I'm just going to center it. Um, so the first thing I will tell you is you would want to use stencil brushes. Um, you want to use a stencil with a flat brush, a uh, flat head and make sure it's not shedding and that will be the best brush for stenciling. You also want to choose a uh, paint that has a nice thickness. See this paint isn't going anywhere. It's not too thick so it'll go into my stencil open areas nicely. Um, I just mixed a color that's kind of like a pale lavender. So the thickness of the paint and the stencil brush are quite important in painting. Uh, another tip I will give you is to use a low tack spray adhesive. So this will secure all the little areas firmly down to your surface. So in a well ventilated area, you spray the back of the stencil, then you let it dry about 60 seconds. And then you don't want any of the glue residue on coming off onto your canvas, although you could probably just peel that off. But this way, your stencil is really gonna stay right where you want it to be. So you place down your stencil. And then the biggest tip I can tell you is stenciling is a dry brush technique. So what does that mean? It means when I'm using a glass plate here, you could use a paper plate. When you are picking up your paint, the number one tip, take a lot of the paint off so that your brush is really just stained. And then, and then the next tip I can give you is the motion of your painting. You're tapping in the paint in an up and down motion. I tend to start in the largest areas because I probably have the most paint on my brush. Now you, once you get advanced with stenciling, you might say, oh, I want it to look aged and dry, so you might paint less. Uh, if you want it thoroughly filled in, you'll paint more. Now, when you pick up paint again, make sure you dry off your paintbrush again. So it's just uh, a two-step process to pick up the paint, dry it off, and then you can paint. You can go in a swirling motion if you feel the stencil is nice and secure to the surface. If I want to fill in all these little detailed areas and the stencil doesn't have any flaps in it, then I can speed up my paint process by doing a little swirling motion here. So this is thoroughly filled. Uh, another tip I will give you is if you want it more saturated, let this dry and then apply another layer. So you could build up thin layers rather than putting a lot of paint into the stencil because then you run the risk of it bleeding under the stencil. So you don't have to wait for this to dry to peel it up to see your results. And there is the octopus stencil. So I hope this was helpful for you with 
various tips and tricks for stenciling. Remember, it's a dry brush technique. Layer up your paint layers and use your spray adhesive and you should have fantastic results. Thanks for watching us.